Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about special registers. You may already be familiar with the concept of regular registers as I spoke about them in a previous video. The regular registers go from R0 to R12 and the special registers consist of R13, R14, R15 and the system flags. R13 is considered the stack pointer register. This register actually contains two different pointers. The first pointer is the main stack pointer and is used by the operating system to manage its own stacks. The other pointer is the process stack pointer and this can be used by the user or developer inside functions like push and pop. For example, if I was to push a value onto the stack, the top value of that stack would be pointed to by the process stack pointer. R14 is called the link register and is mainly used by branch functions to hold your place in the main program while you go off to some subroutine. When that subroutine is complete, you can then jump right back into your main program using the link register value as an indication of where you were. R15, the program counter, works with R14, the link register. Whereas R14 holds your place in a previous function, R15 indicates the current memory address of the instruction you are executing. For example, if you were to leave your main program and go execute some sub-function, R14 would hold your place in the main function, whereas R15 would indicate your place in the subroutine. There are also other values stored in the PSR register. These are called system flags. System flags are very important as they give you feedback on what you have done inside your registers. It is very important that you keep track of when system flags are updated. By adding an S to the end of most instructions, you can tell that instruction to update the system flags once it is done executing. The meaning of these flags will vary from function to function. As an example, if I add a value of 1 in R1 and in R2, and then I used the subtract function with an S at the end, then what would happen is the value of R1 would be subtracted from the value of R2, and the flag Z would be updated to equal 1. As you can see above, if the Z flag is equal to 1, then that means the operation result was 0. There are a large amount of context-sensitive flag meanings, and I will provide a link in the description of this video which supplies a list of them.